Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will solve some problem from expressions. And we are solving these problems from the college panda book. So now let's start. First one is which of the following is equivalent to 6x square y plus 6xy square. That one is very simple thing. Just look at this 6x square y plus 6xy square. So if I took the common factor from this both uh, term, then we'll get that will be 6xy. That means if we divide the first term by 6xy, then we'll get only x. If we divide the 6xy square by 6xy, then we'll get y. So the answer should be 6xy into x plus y. So we think a should be the answer of number one. Now look at number two. Number two says, if a greater than zero, then one by a plus three by four is equivalent to which of the following number? So what about right now? One by a plus three by four. So if first we have to find out the LCM of a and four, that should be four a. So now divide this four a by a, then you will get four here and four times one, that is four plus four a divided by four, you will get a here and three times a that is three a. So four plus three a will be the answer of number two. Now, number three, number three says, which of the following is equivalent to x square plus y into y plus j? So this is very simple thing. Just you have to multiply these expressions. So now at first we have to multiply y plus j with x square. That is y plus j into x square plus y into y plus j. So now if we multiply x square times y, that is x square y plus x square times j, that is x square j plus y times y into equal to y square plus y times j, that is y j. So number B should be the answer of number three. Number four says, which of the following is equivalent to four plus eight x by 12 x? Now, at first, 4 plus 8x divided by 12x. So at first, take 4 as a common number from both one. So you can say we can divide this numerator by 4. That means 4 by 4, that is 1, plus 8 by 4, that is 2. And x will be there. And we can take, we can say 4 times thrice x. That means 4 times 3, that is 12. And we can cut this 4 and 4, then 1 plus 2x divided by 3 thrice x. 1 plus twice by thrice. Yes. So that will be the answer. Very simple problem. Now, next one, number five. Number five says, which of the following is equivalent to 3x to the power 4 minus 3? So 3x to the power 4 minus 3. Now, at first, we have to take 3 as a common number. So we can say there should be x to the power 4 minus 1. Now look, if we say that is x square whole square minus one, then it's okay. So we have already know these rules. That means a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b. Just we have to follow these rules. Then we can say this should be x square plus one into x square minus one. Again, we have to factorize this x square minus one. Then what will we get? we'll get here x plus 1 into x minus 1. And I think that number D will be our correct answer. Now number 6. Number 6 is x plus 1 whole square plus 2 into x plus 1 plus y plus 1 uh, plus y plus 1 square. So consider this one x plus 1 is a. This one is a and y plus 1 is b. Then y plus 1 consider it's b then we can say this is actually the formula of a square plus 2ab plus b square. And we have already know that a square plus 2ab plus b square means a plus b whole square. So if I follow these rules, then we can easily complete this expression. So that should be a plus b whole square. So here a means x plus 1, b means y plus 1 and whole square. So the final answer should be x plus y plus 2 whole square. 
So number B should be the answer of number six. Now, number seven. Now, what is number seven says? Number seven says, which of the following is equivalent to xy minus x square divided by xy minus y square? Very simple thing. xy minus x square divided by xy minus y square. So at first, from the numerator, we can see, we can take x as common factor of xy and x square. Then we can divide this xy by x. So we'll get y here x squared divided by x will get x here. A uh, very interesting thing. And uh, if we take a common y, so then we'll get that should be x minus y. Okay, that should be x minus y. Now, look at this. So we can say x into y minus x. So if I take minus as a common number, then we can say there should be a y minus x. So y minus x, y minus x should be cut out. So final answer should be minus x by y. So minus x by y will be our answer. So number D, number D will be our answer. Number eight, number eight, look at number eight. Number eight says x greater than one, which of the following is equivalent to this one? A very simple thing. At first, we have to simplify the denominator. So what is the LCM of two and three? That is six. So now, uh, we can divide 6 by 2, then we get 3 here. So 3 times x minus 1 plus uh, 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So 2 times x plus 5. So that is 1 divided by something. That means we can do the reciprocal of this fraction. Then it will be 3 into x minus 1, that is twice x minus 3, plus 2 into x plus 5, that is twice x plus 10. So last, 6 by Twice x plus twice x, that is 5x plus 7 will be our answer. So 6 by 5x plus 7 will be our answer. 6 by 5x plus 7 will be our answer. Now, number 9. First, we have to simplify the numerator. So I think x is the LCM. So that should be twice x plus 1. And if I take x as LCM, so that should be twice x minus 1. Then we can do the reciprocal of the uh, denominator. That is 2x plus 1 into x. x will be on upper position. 2x minus 1 will be the lower position. So x and x will be cut out. And final answer should be 2x plus 1 by 2x minus 1. So number B. Number B will be our answer. Very simple thing. Now look forward to next one. Number 10. Number 10. What is number 10 says? Number 10 says, which of the following is the sum of the two polynomials above? So this is actually... Two polynomials, so we have to add. So that should be, we can add the same expression. So 8x squared plus 7x squared plus 7x squared minus 4x minus 11x minus 7. So our final answer should be 3x cubed plus 8 plus 7, that is 15x squared minus 15x minus 7. Number B should be our answer. Now, number 11. Look at number 11. Number 11 says, which of the following is equivalent to the expression above? So that is normal addition and subtraction. So 5a plus 3 root a minus into 2a, that is minus 2a minus plus, that is minus 5 root a. So 5a minus 2a, that is 3a, 3a minus 5 root a, that is 3 root a minus 5 root a, that means 2 root a. So 3a minus 2 root a. So number C will be our answer. So number 12, our last problem of this chapter, that is, what is the value of this one if y not equals 0? So look at this, just we have to multiply. 9 times 2y squared, that is 4y squared, plus 2 times 6y squared, that means 36y squared, divided by 8 times 3 is a 9y squared. Now, we have to add. 9 times 4, that is 36 y squared plus 36 times 2, that is 72 y squared, divided by 8, 9, just 72 y squared. Now, add 2 plus 6, 2 plus 6, that is 8, 2 plus 6, that is 8, 7 plus 3, that is 10, so 108 y squared, divided by 72 y squared. So we have to cut it right now, and we can divide y squared by y squared, and uh, 108 by 72, both by 36, then we'll get 36 times 2, that is 72, 36 times 3, that is 108. So 3 by 2 will be our final answer. 
So that is the solution of this expression chapter. Thank you very much for attending the class. See you soon on next class. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Thank you very much.